But, you know. Um, I actually think I want this one. Ding. So, about the getting hit uh, with the cat achievement. Oh, she actually was so close, she physically hit me then. I would have thought she would have flown off, but okay. Um, getting hit with the cat achievement. Some just get it... Uh, the very first try. Now let's see, that's the second time we hit her. Um, I don't know if there's any better or worse place to be... You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna switch to this camera and zoom in. Oh! Because that with that we can reach a lot farther. Further. I got you, bitch! So, yes, this is a, this is a trick you might want to try and go for is... Um. Oh, she pissed now! There you go, I think. So, uh, keep um, running around uh, until you get that red vignette. Or if you play without it, you know, just keep running around and... Uh, or stand in the middle of the room and zoom in as far as possible and try to just spin around. And just keep moving every now and then so that you don't get hit by lots of all the crap she's throwing. Uh, anyway, let's see. Now, she blocked this off so that you couldn't get up there, but then after this sort of fight, uh, it gets unblocked again so that you can move along. Oops. I'm not doing terribly well with this, um... With the mouse. It's, being as it is from the very beginning, it's very... Uh, jerky. Uh, so you might want to look into doing, you know, some fiddling with that. Those settings, both in the games and on your PC and your software and the actual hardware on your mouse, if it's one of those mice. Uh, so now it should be open here. Now that we have fought her off. I think we're gonna get sort of locked in here. Go either way, it doesn't matter. Now what's with these suspicious things? And now you can see like three chairs. Uh, a bigger one in the middle and two small ones. Uh, which also hints about... Uh, the creatures these three sisters, because we've heard about uh, her saying first and such. Now, you think, well I'm stuck here, aren't I? No, you're not. You can walk straight through here. Freaky. Well then you think, well, now what? So now everything is like inversed. And you get this blue vignette here. Partly because there's a key back here that you want to get. This is going to be locked. 
Oh, we could actually sneak a peek into the non-existent room by going this. I don't think it is... made. I like some of the paintings and stuff in here. And now you're thinking, well, how do I get back? Because now, it's solid. Well, we can have a look at that for for the sake of it. Why not? Feetlet. Oh, we got a Ghostpedia as well, so have, let's have a look at that. Wow. Um, this wasn't meant to have been well anyway there you go uh, how you are supposed to get this um, I don't know quite what happened there but you're supposed to get them by photographing some of these mirrors as such uh, this is also what the vignette talks about is these photographing these mirrors now, um, there have been... Now it's already unlocked, but I was supposed to unlock it by actually photographing one of the mirrors and seeing the ghost in there. But, it, you know, that's how it supposedly goes. Uh, I don't know what happened. But um, maybe it's because I managed to, to hit one of the mirrors by just looking into this one. Uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, you might, it might be that they pop up at the very first mirror. Uh, that has always been the case for me. I haven't played this one million times, so I don't know if it changes per game or, you know, whatever. Uh, others have said that you have to photograph several uh, mirrors. I actually didn't have them unlock in the last playthrough. Uh, I did when I was trying to get all the ghosts. Um, so that's true. Uh, at that point I actually had to photograph several and it still didn't pop up and then I accidentally photographed the right one. I do believe it's this one. But that could be... <laughs> I could be wrong. Uh, I suppose it could be this one. No. I just seem to be doing everything wrong today. Ooh, so let's just take a shot of as many as possible. Um. Am I missing something? I do believe, I'm pretty sure it should be this one. Because uh, that is like the only one that looks that way. But I could be... It could be the case that I need to photograph it... Through there, maybe. Say what? Okay, I've played through this and now I'm actually stuck. I think that it should only be the case of photographing this, and that should be it. I photographed them all by this point, and I don't think that it should change. So, what am I missing? Um, I'm not sure if it's a bug. I'm I'm 99% sure it's it's this one right in front of me. Uh, it's uh, 
very strange. Have I forgotten something? Should I turn off the lights by photographing them? I I did pick up the key, yes. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, look, my mirror uh, image is a little bit... It looked like it was a bit off. Like it didn't move like it should have done. Well, I'm confused. I mean, this was the case before. Um... Mm-hmm. How about some flashes? Do I have to do it with the camera phone? No. So... I'm actually stuck here. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna have to Google this, what I possibly did wrong. But since it was a little bit wonky with that picture of the, um, with the Ghostpedia unlocking like that, uh, which wasn't exactly the right way, maybe I did do something wrong that created some sort of bug. Okay, let me check that out. Okay, um... Eh... Uh, well, as I had it happen before, it was um, this mirror that, when I tried to take a photograph of it, it sh made thing a shattering noise, and I don't know if it shattered, but it made all of them, all th of them three big mirrors shatter, and I could walk through again. But now I uh, saw someone do a let's play, and then it was that mirror which shattered them and I apparently have to uh, you apparently have to focus on that one single mirror and not have the other mirrors in the shot so being dumb like me and thinking I could speed it up by taking a, like a picture a group photo of all of them will just not do nope right so let's walk let's get out of here I have to pee again. But about that, um, the achievement uh, in this fight uh, and trying to get hit by the cat, I think the best strategy for that is just to hope she hits you with a cat and don't make yourself unavailable, <laughs> so to speak. Stand still on like the stage, I think. Um, and let her hurl things and just hope that one of the things is a cat. Some people have gotten very lucky and got kitten after kitten after kitten thrown at them. Others have not been as lucky and never, you know, seen a kitty. My first playthrough did not include a kitty at all. The second one, actually, I was lucky enough to get hit by one. Um, which surprised me. So, uh, that key we picked up is the key to this door. Uh, I just have to take a little bit of a pee break before I continue on there. Okay. Oh, and by the way, it seems that they have uh, removed that achievement now that I mentioned, that I've mentioned several times during this playthrough. Uh, I didn't spot it last time I checked uh, all of a sudden, but I pretty sh I was pretty sure it did exist <laughs> once. I'm not going crazy, am I? Uh, of the um, uh, never getting into limbo, going into limbo. I think they've actually deleted that uh, achievement. Maybe because you go into limbo. Maybe it was or it was bugged or you know. Whatever. Let's continue on. 
Now here we're going to have a fight uh, with the, um, well, second sister, I suppose she is. I think the door is going to slam on us. Yep. Now... This is a very small room, so keep just keep a lookout in the mirror. And um That's one of the hardest ones when she actually goes up in the on the ceiling. 